Ever wonder what it was like to just be free? To adventure and explore without the white picket fence, the eight to five, and to throw away the golden handcuffs? Well, we did. So we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter that had been neglected for decades, sailed her up north, rounding Point Conception, and making her way to her new home port on the central coast of California. We've been fixing her up and prepping her for blue water cruising ever since. Follow along our journey, leave us a comment, and if you like, press subscribe and hit that notification bell. With new episodes every Thursday, tune in weekly to watch our adventures towards hopefully becoming full-time cruisers. Thanks for watching. Getting ready to get the shootout. Should we give these to Howie, Grant? Are you excited? Yeah. Thank you so, so much. So excited. I mean, we're, I'm actually, I'm gonna miss like, you know. Bullshit with people, of course, but oh, yeah. it's it's crazy count running. I'm glad that uh, yeah. I'm glad that the stress of having to do it is over for now. It was time to launch our boat and leave Port San Luis. We have been hauled out for two and a half months, and I know for some that's quite speedy, but for us it seemed like a marathon. We started out with a two-foot hole in our boat, a crooked coupler leading to lifting the engine and lowering it, realigning it. Lots of sanding, fiberglassing, and painting, and the list goes on. But that time has come to an end, and it's time to get back on the water. Last week's episode was left off on a cliffhanger, with us having one last thing to do before launching. Align the engine. Grant pushed on after his nine-hour work day, building tiny homes to shift and shimmy the engine into submission. The final alignment was achieved by drilling two new placements for the forward engine mount further starboard, and allowing the aft port mount to move forward. This allowed the engine to pivot on the aft starboard mount into alignment. Once rough coupler transmission alignment was achieved, the new mounting location for the aft port mount was drilled and finalized. And tuning the alignment was easy after that. Fine tuning with a little wiggle here and there, tightening bolts, checking with four thousandths feeler, repeat, repeat, repeat. And finally, we were in tolerance and ready to launch. First things first, cleaning the boat.
Captain's at the helm and I am assisting and I forgot everything about sailing already. <laughs> Just kidding. What? Hey! Nonsense. Hey Amber, can you get off the bow? That seems really sketchy. You gotta earn your right for the dolphin watch. <laughs> okay, Noel, how was uh how are you feeling? this whole day like getting ready mm. having the boat sitting there and then finally getting in motions were really high and happy and easy and light compared to yesterday where we were like freaking out and stressed <laughs> trying to get you know the engine finally started you know making sure it was aligned all week that was a big project cleaning up getting our last coat of paint on so in time to dry just this whole week's been stressed but this morning it was like we were back to our normal selves and right now I couldn't be any happier. Uh, I took and I hooked the garden hose up with the barb fitting up to the raw water intake and then started the engine and it fired right up. So that made me pretty stoked to just have it start like no big deal. Um, I think there was a little air in the fuel system when I first started because it didn't fire right up. but. Uh, we had picked up a quick mooring ball, just grabbed a mooring that was uh, one of the transient moorings. Ember, stop. Ember, that's our shirt. Uh, just pulled it up and threw it on the cleat real quick to diagnose that. And then we mo motored all of the, uh, what, 10 minutes from, yeah. from that <laughs> mooring to we the anchorage. We've and we're in this beautiful anchorage, so which is sunset. in between the Party. Cal Poly Pier, which is that first pier you see, and then that's the Avila Pier behind us, and that's the town of Avila. And so, this is us. We're just out here, and we're just those people that people see like, oh, there's a boat in the anchorage. It's us. It's finally and, uh, us. That's us. <laughs>